Next, we will consider the experiment of tossing an unfair coin several times and finding the probability of getting a certain number of tails or heads. Let's start with the definition. An unfair coin is a coin with two not equally likely outcomes. Let's discuss the differences between a fair coin and an unfair coin. The outcomes of a fair coin are equally likely. And since there are only two of them, the probability of each one is equal to one half. The outcomes of an unfair coin are not equally likely. And hence the probability of each outcome is unknown unless some information is given. For example, let's find the probability of tails and heads if it is known that tails are three times more likely than heads. The given information can be interpreted as the odds in favor of tails are 3 to 1, and therefore the probability of tails is 0 0.75 and the probability of heads is 0 0.25. Let's find the probability of tails and heads if tails are four times less likely than heads. The given information can be interpreted as the odds in favor of tails are 1 to 4, and therefore the probability of tails is 20% and the probability of heads is 80%. Let's consider the sample space of tossing a coin four times. And let's denote the probability of heads as P and the probability of tails as Q. Since the outcomes are not equally likely, let's find the probabilities of each of the simple outcomes. Since the outcomes of different tosses are independent, the probability of four heads can be found using the special multiplication rule and is equal to the product of the probabilities of heads four times. So it is equal to p to the power of four. Similarly, we can find the probabilities of all simple outcomes using the special multiplication rule. Note that the probability of a simple outcome depends only on the number of heads and tails in the simple outcome. Now, if we denote the probability of having k heads among n tosses in the following way, we can find the following probabilities. The probability of having zero heads among four tosses can be found by finding the probability of all tails, which is 1q to the power of 4. The probability of having one heads among four tosses can be found by the special addition rule and is equal to 4pqq. Similarly, the probability of having three heads among four tosses can be found by the special addition rule and is equal to 4p cubed times q. And finally, the probability of having four heads among four tosses can be found by finding the probability of all heads, which is 1p to the power of 4. It is not hard to recognize the coefficients of the expressions as we have already seen these numbers before. So we can find the probability of having two heads among four tosses without writing out all simple outcomes in the following way. In summary, if the probability of heads is P and the probability of tails is Q, then the probability of having K heads among N tosses is given by the following formula. Let's find the probability of having six heads among 10 tosses of an unfair coin if the heads are seven times likelier than tails. First, let's find the probabilities of each outcome. The odds in favor of heads are seven to one. Therefore, the probability of heads is seven eighths and the probability of tails is one eighth. Now we can find the probability of having six heads among 10 tosses by using the formula from above. As a result, we get the probability of 2.3%. In conclusion, if we let the probability of heads and tails to be equal to one half, then the formula for an unfair coin becomes the formula for a fair coin.
we discussed the experiment of tossing an unfair coin several times and finding the probability of getting a certain number of tails and heads. The significance of this result is that many experiments in real life can be modeled by a toss of an unfair coin.